This is Mitch Bailey, uh, and I'm going to show you guys a stoichiometric reaction using calcium carbide. Calcium carbide, when combined with water, creates acetylene gas. This is what they used to use in the miner's lamps. They'd put some of this calcium carbide in their lamp, and they'd drip water on it slowly like that, and they would have the, the old miners would have a light for the mines. And calcium carbide lamps uh, were used back at the turn of last century, uh, century before last, but uh, we don't use them anymore. They actually used to use it to make acetylene because this does make acetylene gas when it's dropped into uh, um, a uh, water. So I'm going to drop this calcium carbide in there and then I'm going to show you uh, stoichiom uh, stoichiometric reaction. So we're going to drop it in. Now I just got to get this over it. And I'm going to displace the water in this test tube with some acetylene gas. And make sure I'm getting over the top of it. And slowly, and I'm losing a lot. So I'm get over it. Okay, so I'm, uh, uh, I'm displacing the water with this, some, some acetylene gas. And you guys can, can see the, uh, the displacing. I don't know if you guys can see that very easily, but we're slowly... Okay, so if you can see, we've displaced... That's acetylene gas that's inside this test tube right now. So I'm going to drain the water out of it. And acetylene gas is, is lighter than air, so I'm going to mix it with the air that I just put in the test tube. And now we're going to see the stoichiometric reaction, hopefully. Let's see what we get. Okay, you guys ready? Very good. So, if you notice, there's uh, it's clear uh, when we do a stoichiometric reaction, we get the only byproducts we should have is carbon dioxide and water uh, should be the only thing produced. Now then, that was pretty cool. So let's see what happens if we do a whole bunch of acetylene, and uh, we make a whole bunch of acetylene. We're going to put in a couple of um, uh, pieces. And then very quickly, we're going to go in here and we're going to fill this test tube up with acetylene gas. We're going to fill it all the way up. We're going to show you the difference between uh, one reaction and the other. Okay. So let's see, how much do we... Oh, we need more. We need to add more pieces to it. So let me add a couple more pieces. There's another piece. Maybe on top of that one. We want to displace all the water in the test tube to where it's nothing but acetylene. We're just gonna take it completely all the way. We're gonna add another piece to it. Let's see if I can catch it. Okay, so now the test tube is almost nothing but acetylene gas. Now then, let's see what happens. You guys ready for this? Okay, so you guys can see what's happening here. Notice all the soot. We have incomplete combustion. This is not a stoichiometric reaction where we get complete combustion. And if you see, you can watch the flame move down the test tube because it's full of acetylene. And what's happening is uh, we're burning the oxygen mixture. There's not enough oxygen, so we're getting incomplete combustion. Soot, carbon monoxide, and aldehydes. And uh, Hopefully I can show you guys this reaction someday in class, but right now we're just doing a videotape. Thanks again.